My name is Lori Battle, and I'm a 2014-15 Fulbright Senior Scholar. My host institution is National Zhongxing University in Taichung, and my home institution is Montana Tech in Butte, Montana. My project is 75% research, 25% teaching. The research part is studying the Formosan salmon, which is an endangered species that lives only in Taiwan. And I'm working in the Department of Life Sciences, so um, I'm, I'm a mathematician, but I'm working with people in ecology to work together on this project. And in particular, we're looking at the effect of removing dams and how that will affect the salmon. And then the teaching part, um, I'm teaching one class each semester to graduate students in life sciences, and I'm teaching them how to use mathematical modeling in their own fields. I'm feeling a little bit helpless when I can't do things by myself and I have to ask people for help. I don't like having to inconvenience other people. Not knowing what's going on all of the time because I'm not understanding what people are saying. At first, that was kind of frustrating, but I, I kind of liked how you asked the question, frustrating and joyful, because I did find a certain liberation in, <laughs> in being that way. It's like I was able to give up having to be in control all the time. I learned to just accept that I don't have to know everything that's happening. I can just find it out as it <laughs> as it's going on. So I was successful at uh, getting the types of results that I wanted. Um, we were able to give some uh, prediction as to what would happen if dams are removed and how, that, how much it would benefit the salmon. So we looked at three different dams and what the effect of removing each dam would be so we could make some recommendations for what they might consider to if, if they are going to remove dams. In a more broader, broad sense, um, dam removal is becoming a more common approach for restoring habitats. And so this type of study provides more information about that strategy. And then also the results of the teaching part, I think it went very well overall. The, most of the students were uh, afraid of math. They, uh, they're not math students, they're life science students. <laughs> but I was very impressed at how well they did, not only with learning math, but learning math in English, which is even more difficult, I think. So. <laughs> For me, I've built my own knowledge for myself. Like I said, I've learned a lot about modeling because I explored some new techniques for this project, and so that's helped me a lot. Then building knowledge outside of myself, I think that um, I've submitted two manuscripts and I've presented at two conferences here to share my results. most noticeable things for me was how friendly and welcoming the people here are. Also, it's you know, a very small island, but there are many beautiful places to visit. And also that it really has a mix of modern and traditional. Um, I think a lot of Americans don't realize how modern it is, but at the same time, they've really preserved a lot of their traditional culture.